अच्छा जी वेलकम एवरीवन सो दिस इज आवर हैंड्स ऑन प्रैक्टिस सेशन ऑन हाउ टू यूज आर स्टूडियो फॉर डेटा एनालिसिस इन आवर फर्स्ट सेशन वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ टू गेट आवर डेटा फाइल इनटू दिस इंटरफेस एंड डू सम बेसिक डेटा डिस्क्रिप्टिव्स एंड डू सिंपल ओएलएस एंड इट्स डायग्नोस्टिक्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल गिव यू सम प्रीव्यू ऑफ दिस इंटरफेस सो इन दिस इंटरफेस uh this big portion uh the big portion is about is uh is the page where you will write your codes and the output will be out will will appear so in 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 this r studio the this page is for the coding and the output tables will be shown here this this platform is about uh, it will show the data files that you are loaded in it this platform is for showing graphs okay and this uh, and any uh, it's I, i will let you know later the, about the other boards here so first of all you need to uh, uh, open the uh, new code file where you will write your codes so for that this is a button uh, the first button is called new or open so there is a drop down button here if you press it go to r notebook so when you press r notebook so since you are opening a r for the first time it might install few things then it will open and in this file there are few random text are written you if you press the this this button all four windows will be shown this button so the what you what is the purpose of this 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 window will be the codes this window will be output this window will be the data sets that you have loaded this window is the graphs so first of all before starting i will clear the this screen and i will write it here uh our session 1 of time series econometrics of your the, the name of the course okay so this way the, and then press save button and save it in the folder that i already discussed earlier that you should have a separate folder where all the files should be stored so this way you have a, a file now i will open the code file that i have already prepared so that we can discuss it from that and this uh, this code file is already shared on the lms that you can you can check it on so i am going to open that file which i have already prepared it's in our codes this is chapter 1 rmd file i have already shared in the lms so first of all the code have few sections in r studio the advantage of r software is that the packages that r studio includes you have to install them first that's why r studio does not have a big size it does not take too much memory in your computer it only uh, takes the memory for the function that you want to use suppose you want to uh, do uh, forecasting or advanced models so or rather than opening up all the functions that the software can do it will take too much memory the advantage of r is that uh, you can uh, only select the libraries that are relevant for your function and run those libraries and do the function and then uh, you can uh, you then close the work so it the advantage is that it will not take much memory the function will run faster and it will not uh, hang your computer so first of all you in order to read the data file the library that need to load is is called read library read excel library brackets read excel so this function will give uh, will tell the r how to read the data from the excel files okay so this live but how i got this code there are some buttons on it so i will do it using buttons so there's a button here import data sets so when i press import data set okay so there is one uh, import data from excel okay when you press it it will ask where is the data so i will browse and i will open the recently downloaded arto.xls data file and press open it will read the data file you will be able to see all the columns here now uh, 
all the functions. So it is also showing me the codes that R will create itself. The first code is library read Excel. Second code is auto equal to. This is the function that is uh, e equal to in uh, R. So auto auto is the name of the data file which is equal to read dot Excel means they, it will it will going to read some Excel file and where it is this is the directory. So first function will tell R how to read the uh, data file. Second function will tell which file should to be read, read and what should be the name of that read file. And the last is to view that data file to show us the data file. So if I press import, it will load the data file. You can see the data file is loaded here. It has 74 observations and 12 variables and it data file name is auto and it has been loaded here because I have I've told him told R to view it. So the window is here. So you can see all the variables. If you go scroll downward, all the observation are shown and and they, you, if you press cross, it will be closed because it's already here. If you press auto again, it will come again. If you press close, it will be closed. So that sheet is there. So it means uh, we have used three codes and it is shown below library dot read.excel auto the data file reading and view dot auto. I have uh, I have copied these codes and pasted it in separate sides. So I pasted the read.excel in the libraries region and auto equal to read excel in the libraries and load data region and view at the same place. So this way this code is loaded. So we have already imported data in R Studio. We have uh, used three commands. First was this read.excel. That command helped us to read the file. Then this 13th command is auto equal to that function. And the fourth, 15th command, which is read that, uh, show that data file. So uh, the auto function. Uh, the, the data file is read. Now we have to look at what is the data so that we, I can, we can discuss what to do with the data file. Be, without understanding what is the data, it's not appropriate to do any function. So I press the auto file and it is showing some. So what is this data file? The first column is the name of cars. Make. The name of cars, models. Second is the price of the car at which it was sold in the market. Third column is it's miles per gallon, mileage, how much uh, fuel it takes per gallon, uh, how much miles it covers per gallon. Then it's uh, repaired since 1978. So the, the cars are old. So this is REP 78 means how many times this car has been repaired since 1978. So some cars are repaired more than one times. Sometimes it's the NA means zero. Then there is headroom. So headroom means how much space is there in the in the within the car. Trunk means how much bigger the trunk of the car is. Weight of the car, length of the car. Turn means uh, the how much uh, distance it takes to turn. Displacement is it's it's, uh, it's acceleration. Gear ratio is some fraction of how much gear it takes. And then it's a dummy variable of the car's characteristics. Is it it is imported or it is foreign. So these are, this is a data file. Now, uh, so we, we understood the, what is the data file. Now I close it up and we look for some descriptives from the data file. So in order to do some descriptive analysis, we need to tell R which library should we use to uh, do that function. So the library that is needed is pass, this library, library pass text. So since in some computers, this library is not already installed, so it will not be read automatically. So in order to install new libraries, one should go in tools and then press install packages and write that library name, which is needed. It is, it is fast ECS. So sometimes when you write it, R will automatically tell you the exact spelling. So press it up and press install it will connect internet and install the library. So this red button was showing that it was functioning and now it is installing. So 
it is saying package plus past tax is successfully unpacked means it has been installed so uh, library of uh, past tax has been installed in the computer now i will tell computer to read or unload that library so that i can use the functions which are already there in the library so library past tax so i will press run and run that selected line so i press it up it will read so warning the past tax bill so it is uh, just saying that it is a uh, function name is this but the library has been loaded how to check if library has been loaded go in this packages option when you press the packages option just go at p go down where the p is so i can just write past next so when i write past tax it's already ticked so the check is on it means the library has been loaded so it means functionally the functionality has been successfully loaded in the r studio and it is is uh, now ready to show the functions so the function that is used is stat dot describe stat or statistics means stat dot descriptions uh, desc and the file name so file name is uh, i will open both file name was auto so stat dot describe bracket includes the file name so file name is auto when i execute it how to execute go highlight it and run the selected line so i will do it and now in the uh, output window there is some tables so i will go in the middle and get some extra space so you can say all the variables are there it is showing the nbr value means number of uh, uh, nbr value nbr null how many null variables are there how many values are there how many nas are there okay so nbr value means number of observations nbr null means number of null observations nbr na is number of not available observations and min is minimum value m max is maximum value r range is range sum is the total sum median mean standard standard deviation mean standard error confidence interval variance standard deviation coefficient of variance so a detailed descriptive statistics of this data is available here so this is this is the way we can see uh, some basic descriptive statistics of this uh, 